तो हेलो बच्चा लोगों आई होप आप लोग बहुत अच्छा कर रहे होंगे सब जगह फिल कर रहे होंगे फॉर्म्स और टेंशन नहीं ले रहे होंगे सब जगह अप्लाई कर रहे होंगे और सब जगह घुसने की कोशिश करेंगे आईआईटी ट्रिपल आईटी और एनआईटी सब तगड़े कॉलेज हैं कहीं भी जाओ आपका प्लेसमेंट निश्चित है इसी के लिए ये वीडियो में लेके आया हूं एनआईटी वारंगल के एक स्टूडेंट हैं जो कनेक्ट किए मेरे साथ और उन्होंने डिटेल दिया एनआईटी वारंगल के बारे में सो so, एनआईटी वारंगल एक बहुत ही तगड़ा कॉलेज जहां पर आपको पता चलेगा कि कौन कौन सी ब्रांचेस हैं कितनी सीट्स हैं कितनी रैंक तक मिल जाता है एंड फाइनली क्या इसका प्लेसमेंट कैसा है इसमें यह भी आपको पता चलेगा कि एनआईटी वारंगल का दो साल का करिकुलम क्या है तो आइए बच्चों चलते हैं वीडियो की तरफ सो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई हैव माई स्टूडेंट वन वन इज अरुण एंड ही वॉट वन एटी थ्री रैंक इन दिस ईयर एंड ही हैज कॉन्टैक्ट इन एन आई टी वरंगल एंड द स्टूडेंट विल टेल मी लाइक वॉट इज ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एन आई टी वरंगल वॉट इज अ काइंड ऑफ प्लेसमेंट एट वॉट रैंक यू कैन गेट इन टू एन आई टी वरंगल वॉट ऑल ब्रांचेस वी हैव इन एन आई टी वरंगल एंड फाइनली द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वॉट आर द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एन आई टी वरंगल स्टूडेंट सो आई वेलकम यू टू दिस वीडियो एंड आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक टू थैंक यू लाइक यू आर हेयर टू गाइड द स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज आफ्टर गेटिंग गेट रैंक students are very confused that if i am having a rank of 2000 2100 2500 the students are confused that they should go for uh, for uh, drop or they should try to get into some colleges and i personally don't have much information about nits because i have not filled any kind of form for nits i have complete knowledge about iits and i am trying to guide all the students about iits but i don't have knowledge about nits so i am gathering the knowledge and providing to all the students who are getting a little low rank and want to get into mtech and to get a high package after 2 years so i welcome you and first of all i like to thank you hi everyone <coughs> now, now i give the brief introduction to the nit varangal here we are having the three branches vlsi and uh, embedded then communications these are the three branches they will allow and one good thing about here is nit varangal they won't allow the electrical students to apply for the vlsi domain or any other domain coming to the remaining nits they will allow to apply for the triple candidates also kk can come and they can join there but in nit varangal they only purely ec department ec people only they can enter here by the way the way you choose the means like e whatever the domain maybe it is vlsi or embedded or communication you are allowed to go for the sitting for the placements for all the same only there is no difference for them. For example, you want to appear for the Qualcomm. Everyone is eligible. Texas Instrument, you are eligible. Then Media Tech, and then uh, AMD, then uh, high microchip, uh, Marvel Technology microchip. Or high all top companies they will have. There is no differentiation between branch wise. But you have to perform well. If you are performing well, then it's, they will take you based on your performance only. There is no other. They won't see the, your background like whether you are from the communication wing or from the embedded or VMS. If you are doing well in No entry, you are going to select for. This is the thing uh, about the branches. Now coming to the rank, you, you maybe rank, maybe your rank maybe around like two thousand or two thousand to three hundred also. No, it doesn't matter. Better don't sit for the sit for the IITs only. Here uh, IITs or NITs they will have the same basic pay salary. Don't see just seeing by uh, CTC. Maybe different CTC will be there. For some people they will maybe having the CTC like uh, thirty eight lakhs they will pay. Even here also they will pay thirty eight lakhs or like a analog device domain they will pay. But here problem is they don't see the CTC. CTC they will give just one time only. After the second year it will carry forward on the basic pay. We have to see the basic pay. They won't reveal that much basic pay. First time they will show like ten to you like for the thirty eight lakhs. Oh come for this year. Uh, better choose that which domain you are interested. Then after that see the CTC and the basic pay. How much your basic pay? That will be carry forward the next. Okay, so uh, uh, he is telling that uh, there are three branches: communication, embedded, and microelectronics. And only electronic students are eligible. No electrical students is eligible here. If you are getting rank two thousand or two thousand three hundred, five hundred, you are eligible for that, and you will get NIT Warangal. And the basic pay that is the most important thing that many of the students like they see that they are getting fifty three lakh, forty five lakh CTC, but that is a CTC which includes many other things. but the basic pay is same for the student who are going from iit or from nit varangal this is the information that he is giving 
so um, uh, what is the scenario of uh, and one more thing he told that if you are from embedded or micro or from communication all the students are eligible to go into micro electronics companies or hardware companies which are coming like amd like uh, qualcom like um, any other company related to micro electronics or vlsi so all the students are eligible there so now my question is uh, if any student is going into nit warangal what kind of projects are there in nit warangal and is there any uh, scope of getting ppos in nit warangal or not mm. right now if once you are getting into the nit warangal right now the as per policy of nit warangal they will allow for you to do internship for the level ones in the in companies right now it is a policy is there uh, we don't know correctly maybe it will next year will be there or not it depends upon the professors so <clears throat> first after getting in industry mostly mostly everyone will get but uh, the due to recession now is little bit slow maybe next year it will pick up mostly everyone will get as for right now technology right now in our branch out of 24 20 members have got industry still four members are waiting for that right now it may be within uh, may one we will complete the second sem by that time we will also get place so many people also will get place and we are going to move for the industry in the industry no one was going to literally stay in the uh, institute Okay. literally you are going to stay here in only 10 months only remain 11 months you are going to spend in the company itself so okay. they will pay the amount for example most mm-hmm. of them they will pay about 35000 rupees per month for the internship as if when you are working like an and by the way you will get you won't get the stipend here once you mm-hmm. enter in the industry they will pay the stipend that minimum 35000 they will pay for the vlsa students so that you will get industry. then after from there you can convert they will convert mostly they will convert the ppo but depends upon your performance that also <laughs> yes it is not a guarantee that one mm-hmm. depends upon your performance so sometimes it may like a company performance also it may depends on company performance also okay so uh, he is telling that uh, most of the student like 24 students are there right now and from 24 20 have got already got internship in top companies and from my experience if you are working in any company in internship for 11 months you will surely get ppo ppo means pre placement offer like most of the student get into that but that for particularly depend upon your performance if your performance is good you will surely get ppo and most important thing is you will create contact in industries and that is very important if you are going into any industry you will obviously create some very good contact in 11 months and from there you will get into any good company and you will get surely get a good placement okay so any other uh, like what is the final place if we talk about the placement of the college like here we have actually talked about the ppo if we talk about the placement of the college like if any student want to go into it company for example any student is going into communication domain he is preparing to get into it companies so my question is uh, does the nit warangal allow btech students as well as mtech students for it companies or there is a segregation that only btech students can sit only mtech students can sit something like that uh, right now they will allow the not google that might may not allow but remaining company most of the remaining companies they will allow for the to sit for the placements like for even if the pg or btech they won't do differentiate much they want they will treat you like a student mm. for nit warangal student so there, there is no type of that type of restriction if you are more interested means they will allow there is no restriction actually a lot of people here they are not preferring that's it but they are allowing because some people most of them trying for the to enter the hardware industry only even their communication are embedded avail they want to enter for hardware to also so okay. they are preferring where the students are not interested mm-hmm. but all campus they are allowing the students to go for sas pub software also but students are stick to for the hardware roles because they were most of them who those who are entering in it warangal they will they have a backup of software mm-hmm. company definitely they will be have a hanging have offer in their hand but they do they say that we want a pure hardware side that's why we came to the nit and we want to go for that that's why they stick to the hardware roles okay. and i want to add one more thing here is mm-hmm. if we are not getting it uh, nit warangal like uh, spray, means like city you didn't get means then you, one more option is that to enter nit warangal that is in the self finance mode here mm-hmm. with you can uh, it is uh, for the past 2 years is going on it here means we can pay Uh, amount like uh, maybe around 4 lakhs per year, two years to charges then you can enter the nit warang by the how means they will conduct an exam for that you should be just gate qualified means we have to just you have to qualify then after that they will conduct here nit warang an exam so that 
you can write that exam and you can clear the entry and you can enter this in this mode also the second year you will get internship so that you want nothing you lost in the financial aspect or nothing but by the way you can save that one year also okay 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 this is another aspect now this feature is not available in um, nit surat kal and trichy uh, is not available. but nit aurangal right now it's even the like this type of one offer so that self finance also you can do it here a very important information is that nit aurangal you can get into through self finance mode also okay so if any student want is not getting a, is not having a rank from 2000 to 3000 want to get into nit warangal so nit warangal conduct another exam of itself so that you can get into there with self finance and after one year you will get a internship where you will be getting 35 or 40000 so finally uh, you will be actually uh, not in any kind of uh, financial burden will not be there after two years and you will get a good placement that is very important and and one more thing that he told us that in it companies also if any company is coming both btech and mtech students are allowed and this is what i used to tell you that in iit delhi also all the companies are open for all the students they don't matter it doesn't matter that you are btech you are mtech or from any other branch they, the only thing that matter is your knowledge if you have knowledge you can get into the company and it doesn't matter like you are btech or mtech student okay so this is all the complete information of, of nit warangal one more point i want to tell you and i want to first of all ask him that uh, what is the benefit of having a good contacts with the alumni of nits to be frankly speaking alumni it will play a important role because when you most of the interviewers will be there from the nit something means so suppose we are with the nit warangal or maybe they are from nit warangal or nit trichy also when you are with the nit student they will de- definitely try to take you into the industry even if your performance is not that much good also mm. they know that maybe without that much capability you will not enter the nit or iits mm. you have some capability maybe that interview may not that time you may not you may not be that good due to some additional factors but still they will help you in the interview means if you are able to solve the problem or you are able to approach the solution then they will give the offer they won't be uh, like uh, strictly you have to answer like that they won't see but uh, one more thing with the, with contacts you grow further means uh, you can develop a fast and yes. it help you get and also yes this is this is very important uh, this is what this is why i always uh, tell students yaar first of all get into iit get into nit get into one of the best colleges of the country that is iit nit triple iit or bits these are the four colleges uh, four uh, four branch of colleges which are one of the best colleges and and if for example if by any chance you are not able to perform good in your placements and if by chance you are not getting any ppo then the last and the best option is to have a very good contact of alumni because for example if you are entering into nit this year you will have your seniors there present okay so after one year they will be get getting placed in all the beautiful companies all the best companies now you have contact with all your seniors so next year when you will be sitting in your placements then those seniors will help you getting into the companies and this is what the beauty of nits triple its and trip, uh, iits is this so alumni contact is also very very important and this will land you a very good job so finally my say is bachcho if you are if you are not in a state to drop again to take a drop again my suggestion is go into nits go into triple its and what will you suggest to our students uh, definitely those who are, don't want to waste one more year means definitely they like, want to come for the no need to ask for the iits only they can enter the nits and the nits right now its placements also very good i think better the nit warangal have a placement better than the remaining iits some iits also Mm-hmm. as per my knowledge through my contacts i came to know that intel here intel or some other company they will pay more than what they are paying for the iits also i uh, yes, i i don't know what is the reason maybe the internship is the reason for the one year internship is the reason for the payment uh, yeah. more and more i don't know currently but as per my knowledge right now they are paying more than some iits so i will always suggest to the students if you are not if you are good at the subject at two one or two subjects and you want to pursue the career in uh, purely in hardware roles you can come in any other angle through self finance also because with you no need to waste one year mm-hmm. you will get a one year internship in a college company you will get an experience 
such a way that you will get a more exposure. Mm. If you are reading the same subject also, okay, if you want to read for improve your knowledge, means you can do it. Otherwise, if you don't have any time that you are feeling like, you can come and join in anything, and you can get an experience in one year internship, like a you can get added to your career. I will always suggest students to come and join in. Great, great. So this is, I think, uh, I also get knowledge about NIT Varangal because I didn't have any knowledge about any NITs. So I am trying to gather that information and providing you students so that you are in a state that whatever rank I have right now, I'll utilize it and get into best colleges of the country. Okay, and I'll not take any drop now. Okay, so all the best, dear students. I hope for uh, NIT Varangal ke baare mein saari baate aap logon ko clear ho gayi hongi. All the doubts, saari baate, placements, kaise puchna hai, aur uh, kis tarah se wahan pe hamari matlab kya future uh, scope hai wahan pe. Ek saal padhai hogi, ek saal puri internship hogi aur internship bahut achhi hoti hai kyunki agar aap ek saal company mein kam kar liye na, iska matlab aapke ek saal ka experience hai and that experience counts. Jo yeh unhone bataya ki Intel. Gave more package to the students of NIT Varangal than the IITs because the students of NIT Varangal have already one year experience and that is very beautiful point. जो उन्होंने बताया कि NIT Varangal बढ़िया कॉलेज है घुस सकते हो 2000-2000 रैंक पे निराश नहीं होना है लगे रहना है मेहनत करना है और घुसना है अपने को ठीक है ना तो ये हमारा पूरा का पूरा NIT Varangal के बारे में सारी बातें हो चुकी हैं तो थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल